welcome to our Williams vlogs. So today it's a Saturday and I am going to show you what I'm going to cook and bear with me, more certainly I may need to show you how to do the fish sauce. So here it goes guys. So in here I've got my potatoes boiling. I cut it up in halves and possibly a little bit smaller. I got here then I got a fish pie mix that I picked up in Asda the other day when I done the shopping haul. So it says on this pack and I'm basically following my uh, recipe on my phone too. So these are going to go into the bottom of a dish. I then gonna chuck everything in like uh, veg, uh, possibly the kids with like peas or something, so that would be okay. Um, then I am going to do a uh, sauce. So I'm gonna do a sauce and then I'm gonna put the potatoes mashed up on top of it with the extra cheese on top. So it will be awesome guys. Um, so seriously, watch me. So I've got my water boiling, guys. I don't know if you can see me. Got my water boiling. Potatoes is cooking really nice. So I'm gonna fetch a pan and I'm gonna do my own sauce. So guys, I've got my match. I've got my plain flour. Also, goes the bottles got milk so those are the three items you may need to do first so here it goes I'm gonna put just a little bit not too sure how much but I think that should do guys Ooh. so I'm gonna put this one on gradually I may need to wooden spoon the oven's waiting for us actually so what I'll do I'll put it on low for now So this one is kind of melting, I'll show you guys. There is melting, I want to melt it. So basically the butter will be all gone and I need it all gone anyway. So, awesome guys. And I'll show you the finishing results after anyway. So I'll talk you through it. My dad used to do this. I think I learnt as a kid, so here it goes. I then I'm gonna put flour. I'm gonna turn that down. I'm gonna put a touch of flour in there. And then I will make it into a roux. So guys, you want something to look like this, like a roux, and I'm going to just add the milk now, just a little tiny bit, and then stir it. The trouble is opening this milk guys, so here it goes. Just a little tiny bit to cover the bottom, and then I can actually stir it, stir it. Be good with the whisk once it's uh, fully kind of cooked. I don't want it catching the bottom anyway. I think I'm gonna do like um a parsley kind of sauce for the fish sauce so I 
I'll show you what I'm doing. I am gradually, I don't know if I need it on the higher heat a little bit. Most likely that will help. I've got it. I think the roux is going to get even thicker. I may need uh, a whisk. Let me go and change. Here we go, guys. A whisk. So, what I'm doing, I'm breaking it up. And can you see it's like a smooth kind of texture? It's not going to get ready until in a couple of minutes. So once it's thick, I'll show you. You've got to keep continuing to get thick and then add some more milk to make it the thickness that you like. So, let's get into it. Right, I put the milk in. And I want it to go a little bit thicker. I'll show you the texture. Here's the texture, guys. It is slightly getting thick, but it depends what thickness you want. And remember, you can't take away. You can add, but you can't take away. You can add flour, you can add milk, you can add anything you like, but you can't take away. So, let's see if it gets thicker than this, guys. And we'll put our herbs in. So, guys, this is my sauce. What you've done... I have I've emptied my sage for me uh, parsley, so I may need to actually get parsley one day. But yeah, for next week I think I'm gonna do it because my mum's staying over. This is a sauce. This is a fish. So I got the the cod, the salmon, and the smoked. Uh, what do you call it? Let me see. Smoked pollock. So basically. That's what we're going to have, so it's on the bottom, they're going to put the sauce over the top and then, uh, sorry upon this, Leighton's actually done mashed potatoes, so that's going to go on top of that. So I cut it up a fish and I spreaded it nicely, so I'm going to end up putting that sauce over the fish. So here we go guys. So I went to shreddy with the fish. Now I'm going to do the sauce. I can see the thickness of this is ready. It is going to be good. Basically, I need a spatula, possibly. Or a spoon. So we'll go for a spoon. Can you hear my cat, guys? So. The sauce is going over. I don't know if it's going to be too much. I thought it was going to cover. Well, it is in one way. I think potato may be actually going to put it over. I may have to... No, I'll leave it like that, guys. It's in there for a couple of minutes and then we can eat it with some peas. So... We'll show you the finishing results. Here's the finishing result, guys. I'm going to dish it up on our plates. So, show you the finishing project. But this looks awesome. And it's cooked. And remember, fish doesn't take too long to cook. Here is the finishing result. My very own homemade cheese pie. And the parsley sauce to go over it. So, 